Black Adam is everything for me. It's my career. I believe it's my career defining movie. Everything I've done has led to Black Adam. Finally, after a decade of hard work, tears, blood, Black Adam will finally be shown to the world. So I would like to ask you, how is Dwayne Johnson feeling right now, not only as an actor and a producer, but as a person? Humble. I really, really, this is, it's, it's a humbling moment. And, you know, this game, it can get away from you a little bit. You know, if you've been in it a while, like I have, and if you've been lucky enough to um, experience a little bit of success, Sometimes it could get away from you, and sometimes a movie like this can just feel like, oh, I got another movie, maybe it's big, we'll see. But Black Adam for me was everything. It is everything for me. Black Adam is everything for me. It's my career. I believe it's my career-defining movie. Everything I've done has led to Black Adam. Even though I've had Black Adam for 10 years, as you said, 10 years ago we were talking about making Black Adam. I was still in a different place, though. I was a different man. Um, I didn't have my two little ones and my two little baby girls. Um, I didn't have my second marriage. I didn't have the experience that I've been able to experience over the past decade that I think I was able to bring to the character of Black Adam. Black Adam's main motivation is vengeance. So in your case, what motivates you to be the person that you are on a daily basis? Um, being a good father. Just trying to be a good father every day. I try to get a little better and better. Uh, that's really important to me. And, and being a good human being, because I'm really, really lucky. Um, and I don't pull any punches when it comes to this. I'm a lucky guy when it comes to being in the position that I'm in and to, being able, to have been able to experience what I've experienced. Lucky enough to have a little bit of the success that I've been lucky enough to have. So... Uh, with things, the more things like this, like a Black Adam or anything else that happens in my life, um, it's important to me to make sure that all that is checked properly and got to be a good person. Just be a good person, be a good human being, be good to other people, be kind to other people. That's really important to me. That's a great answer. Yeah. And well, finally, I would like to know what should we expect from Black Adam in the future of DC? Maybe a matchup against Shazam Superman? Oh, I would love that. I, that that's the fun part. I mean, that's why I get really excited. You know, right? Myself and our Seven Bucks Productions, where that's the fun part about Black Adam. That's the fun part about building out the DC universe. And you start to bring in these characters where we have this Bible of DC characters that you can pick from and all these awesome characters that people are gonna like. So I like the idea, that's the fun part of building out the DC universe, thinking of matchups. Because in our world, in the Black Adam world, um, all the superheroes and supervillains coexist. In the world of Black Adam, Superman exists, Wonder Woman exists, Batman exists, Aquaman exists, the JSA exists, they all exist. So is there a matchup between Black Adam and Shazam? Would you see those two come together? Sure, why not? They all exist together. Would there be a matchup against Black Adam and Superman? Sure, they all exist together. Yeah, it's coming. All that's coming. <laughs>